Okay, great. So make sure that you're you're unmuted. Uh, and I'm gonna. This is today. We're going to do the uh, peacock, right? And I'm gonna forget the name peacock because I always do. It's a hard word for me. I don't know why, but they are uh, incandescent, right? Which means they shimmer. And I did this painting, right? But when it's all dry, like like later. I found, you know, that Elmer's glue that has that incandescent glitter in it. You can paint the, uh, her over the top with the glue and then she'll shimmer, right? And she'll dry clear. The glue will dry clear and leave the shimmer. I'm just saying, I couldn't put that in your kit, but that would totally be like fun. I'm just saying, if you wanted to do that, because they are, sh they are shimmery. I don't know. And you just can't capture that shimmery thing with the flat paint. So it's going to be a turquoise painting, same color I'm wearing. And then we put blue on top. And what we're rooting for is the, see the wet turquoise under there with streaks of blue in it? That's what we want, right? But we don't, we can't scribble them together. They'll make a new color. What we're trying to do is go like this and go, here's the wet turquoise and go flick with blue, flick. And every tiny little flick is a feather. So you can't scribble, right? You just go dash, 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 like a number one, one, one. So we're, and we have the bigger paintbrush once it starts getting bigger. But see how it's littler up here? Little, bigger. But once I use the bigger paintbrush, I'm always tempted to make a little bit longer strokes. Because our tail, those feathers a little bit longer, but just a smidge longer. Okay, so let's do her little beak first. Because orange, right? So we just get a, find your orange, because we could get it out of the way. Get the orange, because the only thing we use orange for, there's one speck of orange in here, right? And teeny tiny Just Born paintbrush. Little, little, little. So we have to talk about how to outline in paint without messing up, right? So everyone's like, I can't do it. Every time I outline in paint, it gets huge and it won't work. Well, here's the trick, I'll show you. Boop. Okay, I'm just gonna draw the beak, pretend, okay? There's the beak. So the way that you outline with paint is you poke your paint, cause she's a tiny paintbrush and she can't hold on to a lot of paint. But I actually land inside the shape I'm trying to do, so it's inside her beak. And as soon as I touch the inside, it goes whoop, my paintbrush opens. But I don't paint with the whole paintbrush. I keep my paintbrush in the beak and then I sneak up and let one hair touch the top. So it's like a rainbow and then a smile, right? Or two touching parentheses, so I land inside Smash. Oh, look at my paintbrush get huge. Now I can sneak up and let one hair touch the, sh oh, what from inside one hair. Okay, let me show you on this. Okay, so, and I don't want to look at any silver Sharpie. Bye, silver Sharpie, bye. So I just go poke. So I'm gonna land inside her beak, smash. And you could watch me do it first. And then I sneak up, sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh, I covered it. Now I can go swipe, what, oh, like that. And then I land in the beak again and go like a little, a little frown there. What if black peeks through? A built-in shadow. But do I outline it going like this? La, 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 la. No, I land inside and go smash and let one hair sneak up and touch that Sharpie, whoop. And then land inside and go boop, and let one hair ride the roller coaster on the bottom. So my paintbrush stays inside the beak the whole time. And then you're gonna be tempted to go dash, 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 scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. That'll make a furry beak, because scribbling is for crayons and markers and color pencils, right? This is paint. It is thick like frosting or peanut butter. You just go smush. You're like a bulldozer. Push the paint. You don't scribble paint, right? We push paint. That's how you get it to outline. 
So I have still too much black shine. I'm gonna get one more layer on it. Dash that. Oh, smooth it, smooth it. I didn't. I didn't need to go back to my outline. My outline was nice and thick, but that just ever so gently. I can barely feel it. Put a little bit more orange on there. Now I have to lick off my paintbrush. No, I'm just kidding. I always say that joke. Now you just need one little paper towel. And you put it inside and give it a little pinch and squeeze that paint out. Bye. Squeeze, pinch. Squeeze, pinch. There's still orange on it. It's not going to hurt nothing. The turquoise is way more powerful than it's orange. The only time you have to worry about it, you guys know, you guys know the color wheel? Right? So if I had orange in my paintbrush, right? Oh, what if I get turquoise in it directly across? It won't hurt it because this paint's so thick. But look at how our painting is turquoises and blue with a little bit of magenta. So it's this part right here. And then who's directly across? Boom! Orange. So that's why that orange beak really stands out because she's a high contrast. Can okay, I renew her, her little, um, her little, what do we call them? Her crown, her crown little things, right? So we gotta open our turquoise. Boop. Hey, mine's practically glued on there because I tried to get it out. Okay, there, I got it. it smells like paint. Careful, careful. And remember what happens if you get it on your hands? It just washes off when you get it wet like Elmer's glue. And then just rest it on, just rest it on the table underneath. I can't because I don't have a table. My table's over here, <laughs> but nearby. Because it's thin, so it's drippity. So I like to keep it near, right? And now we're going to do her, her little um, crown. So remember how when we went like this and we smashed our paintbrush? What happens when you smash your paintbrush? She goes, whoop. Right? So we're going to do her little crown, but we touch the very top. And our paintbrush will be full of paint. And we go, ah! and then I just go, pull it towards her head. Should I scribble up and down and make it bigger? Uh-uh. I just poke my turquoise. I land, boop, and pull like that. So you want to see me do it? So I get my turquoise. Ooh, look how drippy it is. Ooh, right? So watch me. I'm going to do it up close. Okay? So I just, I can't scribble. But landing, she gets really big. And I go, smash. Ooh. And then I pull, touched her head. Don't care about her head. Her head's going to be turquoise too. And then I can get some more turquoise. How come I get more? Because when I land, I want it round. So I go smash and pull. Then smash and pull. There. Did I go back up? No, I can't. Because when I land, it's nice and round. And then I pull. Look at that cute. Look at my paintbrush is trying to drip. I need a paper towel. Emergency. Give it a little pinch. Well, that is not 3D. Don't we prefer a 3D painting where it's like dark, medium, light, right? So right now it's just turquoise and that is so boring. So how many color values do we need for 3D? Three. Dark, medium, light. Well, now let's look for our blue. She's a purpley blue. Fabulous. Right? And then, uh, this is my dark. So what's my turquoise? My light. So what happens when the blue and turquoise meet? That's my medium. Okay, what? So dark is blue by yourself. Medium is turquoise and blue mixed together. And if I have any turquoise that still shows, light 3d so i don't scribble them together and make one color i literally streak the blue on top of the turquoise and just let it sit so i do really soft so i just get blue and just redecorate them but softer remember how we went smash <laughs> we don't have to go as hard this time we could just get a little ton of a little poke of blue paint poke like that just some some right and then I, I go land at the top and streak. Oh, it's cuter. And I get another poke, land, and a streak. That's all. That's all. Just a, a little dark. And if it mixes with my turquoise, 
What do I get? Me oh, medium. Look at. So I have dark pieces of blue, light pieces of blue that got mixed in, and then the turquoise in the camera looks practically white because of my reflections and my beauty beauty light. Should I scribble it in or just let it be streaky? Streaky, right? I scribble it in, and what are you gonna get? T turquoise. Who's more powerful, blue or turquoise? That turquoise has way more, um, the powder color that they would mix in, way more than the blue. The blue's darker, but she's a, she's floating in a clear gel, where this is like in a white gel. Just saying. Okay, so who wants to try face? Did you get some of her hairs all over her face? Oh my gosh, I got it on her head. So, we're painting the head next. So it doesn't matter. Okay, now I need to outline her face. Oh, I'm going to ruin it. What if her face gets a little bit bigger? Baby, baby ones have bigger heads. So that becomes a baby. So I have my dirty little paintbrush. I just get a paper towel and just give it a pinch. Whoop. Remember you were all worried about orange? Gone. And I get my turquoise. But I need to outline her. Let's outline the beak. Right? It's a backward C. Right? <laughs> Letter B. Right? So I poke my turquoise poke. I don't need very much. I didn't stab it all hard or anything. I just want to go, the edge of my orange is already dry, but I don't want to hurt her eye. So I just land above, oh, my big hand's in the way. Above the beak. Smash. Oh, there my paintbrush opened. Now it's touching. Let her be. Now you do it. Because I was, I was in front of the beak and then she went, <gasps> Then she opened and then she touched, right? I'm in front of her and then she goes, whoop, and sneaks up all by herself. And then use that one hair to touch it. It's a good trick, right? Because we know her face is going to be turquoise. So we're not scared. So we land in her face and then sneak up to the thing we're trying to outline. Okay, okay. Her forehead and her chin. Easy, right? So I get turquoise poke. But I have to land in her forehead. Smash. Okay, I'm in her forehead and let one hair get rid of Sharpie. Oh, right on top of those crown feathers. Whoosh. There. And then her chin is like a little baby rainbow. Whoa. How did you outline? Daniela, are you doing a good job? Are you painting? She just joined. There's a couple of kids that were having a hard time logging on. Oh darn! Yes, Daniela's one, I believe. Emily just, one, so. just, just start on the face, right where we left off. Start on the face, and we'll do the beaks and the and the crown feathers at the end. Right? We can have an orange beak at the end. No big deal. And the crown feathers. By then you'll totally understand it. Go ahead, jump in, Daniela. Do you need help with your your, your easel? No? Okay. So now we're gonna go around the eye. Woo! Oh, I'm so scared. No, I'm not. We're all good at outlining already. So I get a tiny poke of the turquoise. How come? Because I'm actually afraid of it dripping on me. So I get a little bit. And I'm gonna go above the eye. Right? My, oh, get my hand out of the way. And I go above it, right? And I'm going to sneak down, down, down. Now it's touching. Because I'm going to try to save the eye. Because you know I won't be able to draw that shape again. There. <laughs> and I just have an eyeball. There. So it's I'm always above it. And then I sneak down. So I'm touching and rainbow it. And sneak from under it. And smile it. Do, let's do a little bit of her neck too. A little bit of neck. Go get some more turquoise. And do a little bit of neck. Oh, let's try feathers. Dash, 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 dash. Oh, I need to outline more. Okay, there. Okay, there. Okay, just, just that much. And I don't want to look at any silver sharpie. Not good. I'll show you it close. But 
We have to put blue on this. And what's happening to our paint right now? It's totally drying. The air is stealing all of our water out of our paint. It's no, that's no good because we need the blue and the turquoise to make streaks of each other. They make little stripes. We're not scribbling them together and making a new color. We we go stripe, 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 stripe. But only works while she's wet. So I gotta clean my paintbrush. <laughs> I always look at the, I don't know why, but I always look at my paper towel to see if it made a pretty color. I don't know. Weird. Okay, now, ooh, where's blue? How tiny do you think these feathers are on her face? Right? Tiny, tiny. Should they go straight up and down? No. Should they go straight flat? No. It's like we're petting her, right? Like our hair, dash, dash, dash. Oh, okay. So we get, how much blue do you think? Just a sp You can always get more, right? A little tiny speck, a little blue, a poke, a little tiny poke. Okay, let's try. Like, I'm going to do run row along our head. Tinka, 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 right? So I'm going to try. So I get near her beak. You want to see me up close? Make it closer. So I get near the beak and I go dash, 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 dash. Oh, did I get, oops, I totally didn't. I was too low. Dash, dash, dash. Oh, I got streaks of blue in my turquoise. So I have both, and I have an interesting texture. I'm not rubbing it in like, okay, let me show you how to ruin your painting. Watch this. And scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. What color is that now? It's basically turquoise. I don't know. I want a ton of speck of blue, and I just make a dash. Dash, 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 dash. And I could do another row. And then dash, 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 up and around the eye. Oh, look, it ran out. It's just turquoise. Oh! It only lasts a half a second. And I'm doing it super soft, super soft. Dash, dash. One, 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 one. One, one. Oh, and I have to go under the eye. More blue. Boop. It only la lasts like a fingerprint big. It's so small because it's a tiny paintbrush. I touch your beak and I go under, under, under her eye, 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 eye. Push, push, push. Dash, dash. Dash, dash, dash. Oh, look at I'm pushing too hard with my paintbrush. What happens when you push hard with your paintbrush? It's huge stripes. I want it to be little, so I have to do it gently. I can't help it. As soon as I get excited, I start pushing harder. I don't know. Poke, poke, dash, dash, dash. And I'm putting little turquoise and blue streaks. And I look. Mine's uneven. Look in the middle. I think I just ran out of blue, but kept going. Why wasn't I watching? Let me try again. Poke. This time I'm going to look at it. Because <laughs> I was watching the camera. Dash, dash. Oh, oh, cute little blue dashes in my turquoise. So, do, okay, let's check for 3D. Do I have any dark blue pieces? Yeah. And feathers. Do I have any medium where blue and turquoise meet? And they mush together. Mm -hmm. Do I have any pure turquoise that didn't get nothing? Those are your lights. So dark, medium, light. Let's see. Yep, I got some dark areas and I don't even care. And medium and light. Look how much dark. You know why it's darker by my beak? Because when I got the blue paint, I landed there first and then ran out of paint. I think I need to get some more blue paint and even that out a little bit. Because I got blue paint, landed, and then went dash, dash, dash. Well, I ran out. Let me get a teensy bit more, just a tiny speck, because some parts seem more turquoise than blue. Let me just, just a little bit. I just want to see. Dash, dash. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, I just pick it up and drop it off. I pick up the blue and drop it off, and oh, yeah, yeah. That helped a lot. Right there on her cheeky, didn't have any. By her eye. Okay. All right. Oh, <laughs> then I went, and I touched it again. My paintbrush scratched the blue off. Who saw that happen to yours? The more you touch it, it just scratched the blue right off. Oh, mean paintbrush. Now I have to go back and do it again. 
because she's like a sponge. She can drop paint off and she can pick it back up again. So touch it less. But how else are you supposed to learn on earth? You only learn by doing, right? So you're like, oh, look what I did. I shouldn't have done that. Well, then we adjust and we do better because it's earth, right? So now I'm going to clean my paintbrush. So who wants to do more neck and more body, right? What if we do it like three finger sections at a time? I worry that it will dry. Like if we do the whole thing turquoise, her whole body part, this part, all turquoise, right? By the time we're doing all these little blue dashes, what if it dries? It won't make the cool little stripity things. So let's just do like three, three fingers more down her body. So I'm just gonna, and by Sharpie, I just get a poke of turquoise. I just wanna get rid of that. I just outline it maybe up to her tummy and down, um, on her, like where her shoulders would be. Of course, they're wings for her. Just, I don't know, three fingers worth. If you go smaller or you go bigger, we're finishing the whole thing. So I'm just, they're just fake measurements, right? It's just so we pace ourselves a little bit. And then I bet you already know what's going to happen next. Outline it. And then fill it in all the way down to like where her shoulders would be, right? Bump on that shoulder. Bump on that shoulder. Where her wings would come out if she was going to flap. Right? And then, and then I fill it with turquoise. I should just fill it with turquoise with little dashes. Right? It's just how we did the face. So I go, mm. I stabbed my paint. And I got a lot. How come? I have far to go. <laughs> so, dash, 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 dash. Oh, black showing. A little bit more. Dash, dash, dash. Dash, 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 dash. Texture, texture, texture. Glob, 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 glob. Wow, that lasted a good long time. But I have lots of black showing. Let me go back. I can't see good when I'm painting from the side. Dash, 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 dash. Dash, dash, dash. Okay, and then, when I'm done, oh, I want, I'm gonna have to make her shoulder bigger because I just made a bump. Okay, there, smooth out her shoulder. My, I, I went outside the lines. So, who, who, how many times do you stop and get more blue paint to put little streaks? I don't know. Until it looks nice. Because remember how we started my by my beak was too dark. And then by the time I got to her neck, I was out of blue. Well, that's not going to work. So I stop and get more and stop and get more and stop and get more. And then I'm, I'm just trying to make little streaks of blue. You want to try? Like you can already guess what's going to happen. We can tell. So I get blue. Because that's what kind of good brain you have. You already did it on the face. So your brain's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just get blue. How much blue? I don't know. Just poke and find out. Because you'll if you get too much, get less next time. I don't know. And I just go dash, 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 dash. Oh, I have to. Look at it. It doesn't match. I have to connect it to her face. What? Look how much bigger stripes I'm using suddenly. It does not match. Let me go back. More gentle, more gentle, soft, soft. Okay, now it's matching. All right, streak, streak, dash, dash, dash. Okay, okay. Because I thought it, I could be faster if I did it harder and bigger, but then it didn't match her face. So, whoa. And then I'm out of blue already. A poke more. Dash, dash, dash. Oh, when you first put the blue, it comes off like a big blob. Is that bad? No. I could just go and touch that with my paintbrush and pick it up and go put it somewhere else. Dash. Pick it up and put it somewhere else, 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 else. Oh. Very, not enough blue. See that? I'm going to have to pause. More blue. I may, See, art is making the tiny decisions and adjustments. Right? So you're like, I, I should I? Should I? And then you do it. As soon as you decide, you did art. So you're deciding, you're like, mm, 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 okay, I'm going to do it like this, and I'm going to, ooh, and then, just like in life, you can go, oh, I just mixed my colors, touching too much, oh, mistake, put a little bit more turquoise on and put blue on top, we just adjust, right, we're like, oh, life, 
Good job, life. You messing with me. But we, we don't we don't let ourselves get disappointed. We're just like adjust, moving on. Hey, look at that spot where I started and I attached my head to my neck. I need to I need to do some touches. That looks like she's wearing a collar. I need to fix that. Let me put some more touches. Touch, touch, touch. There. That feels more attached. Okay. Yeah, I'm making one color. Do you see what I keep doing? I keep touching it. Who feels like they're doing that? Too many decorate, too much decorating, and then it just becomes one color blue. I like the dashes when they show. Right? Wanna do more? Okay, so now let's do like let's just let's just go for it. Let's just do her whole body. But what is her body? It's not her tail. Right? So it goes like this. Everybody watch. Everybody pause and look up. I know you're busy. But it's like this. But it actually comes to a little point. I don't know if I drew that on everybody's. But her, it like goes around to like her, her back. So it's, here's from her tummy. And then it kind of cuts off. Let me show you. I didn't draw it on mine either. But, but it kind of goes like this. I'm going to do it in dashes. Because you can't cover up straight lines with paint. But... It kind of like is hit, oh, like it comes to a point like that. Because there's her tummy, and then it comes to a little point, like, like her body has a tail. Did you have that stripe there? I don't know. Everybody's just different. Because I, I drew all these at once, and I don't remember. Because if this is my sample and it doesn't have it, I don't remember now. And now I'm just going to go down. Oh, I don't, what am I doing wrong? I didn't outline. The shape first to get rid of the sharpie okay let me do that first bye sharpie ran out of paint usually if the microphones are on there's always one leader in the in the class that always keeps teacher on task right a teacher you forgot a step there's always that one person i don't know are you that person i don't know and then I get more turquoise. It makes the teacher nuts, but it's helpful. So, because I I'm thinking of ten things and watching the whole class at the same time. So then I go dash that. Oh, too big. I got. Oh, why did I go too big? How come? Because I'm trying to be fast. So I just go one 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 one. And what if there's black peeking through still? I can go back and get those. I don't care. Dash dash that. Oh, more paint. How about if we just plan on putting two layers of turquoise dashes? Because look at how much black is showing. Oh, oh. Okay, it's the ending more turn. More. Now that I did whatever this was, all that black showing, now I'm going to go hunting to get rid of the black. Bye. Dash, 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 dash. Hop, 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 hop. Smish, 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 smish. More paint. It's a texture thing, right? Are we just putting color? No, we're putting feathers. So it's a texture thing. One, 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 one. No scribbly, scribbly, because that would be the wrong texture. One, one, one. Ugh. What? I went past two times, and I still have black things showing. Ugh. I have to go back a third time. Ugh. This black is, this black just doesn't want to be covered up. Let me keep doing it. More. Okay. Bye. Bye. Get out of here. <gasps> I'm bullying the black canvas. I'm going to get suspended. Rude. Oh, there's more. Okay. okay. I feel better about it. How many layers? That took call. Let's get rid of the black. But now, what am I worried about? I can't have my turquoise dry. Or it won't make pretty streaks. I'll just literally be painting over it with blue. How boring is that? So while it's still wet, who thinks you're going to be able... Who, who, after you did the head, and then you did the shoulders, who feels even more confident? Right? You want to try? 
because you're going to be you're as you as soon as your brain understands it boom you just go for it right it's all about the tiny texture feathers so i get blue and i go i don't know and you know it's not going to match the shoulders i'm going to have to do a little blendy past the shoulders because as soon as i start it's too dark <laughs> that's okay it's too dark when i start right because when i first put the blue on it's all thick and like uh-oh so what is it okay to go back up into the shoulders a little bit and pick it up and oh i'm gonna walk into the shoulders that i already did so oh i went up and down and down and up a little tiny down oh now it matches okay okay because when you first get the blue paint and go stab and start dropping it off it's way dark You're like oh Ooh, well, pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off. Dash, 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 which means we have to do it like 50 million times. But I actually like the little, a few dark pieces. How many color values for 3D? Dark, medium, light. So giving some of the dark blue permission just to sit there is my dark. More, more blue. Dash, oh, ooh. Is it too hard? Do it softer. All of a sudden, I'm trying to go fast. I can tell. Let me get more blue. It feels good about it so far. It's like a, a, a texture color thing, right? And it's like we're, we're brushing up. You know how if you play with a cat and you go against her hair the wrong way and she gets all mad? Right Right? So it's like we're petting them and we're all of our brush strokes are going down along the curve. It's all curve, 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 curve. Pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off. Oh, see, I started to run out of blue and then it became just turquoise. A little bit more, a little bit more. But there's no way to know until after you're, oh, okay. Then I pick it up and drop, pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off. You know what this was called? Blending where we're not permitting a color to be just where it lands. We actually are making new decisions about where it lands. I can pick it up with the tip of my paintbrush and put it somewhere else. And I'm making teensy tiny decisions about where the color should be, how thick the color should be, what texture the color should be. Dash, 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 dash. Oops. Her shoulder just got really big. I went outside the lines. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to on purpose make her a little bigger. I was being a little hyper. Oh, look at it in the camera. I can see that it's way darker right here on her on her shoulder. Let me. I'm gonna touch it one time, a little softly, and see if I can't pick up some of that. Oh, I just scratched it off really hard. Man, it's hard to get just the right soft. Okay, there. Whew. Right? Because you're trying to make um, turquoise stripes, but it can all get mushed together if we're too scribbly. And we're just going to, don't mix them together. Give them permission to be dark area, light area, medium layer. And then, can you imagine, not right now because it's wet, we could put that glitter glue on it. I'm just saying, because I get excited about glitter. Everything's better with glitter. I don't have any for you. So you have to go splurging. I, I think I saw it at the dollar store. They have the glitter pens and you could draw glitter on it. I'm just saying. Who, th who thinks that came out? And then it's, the blue's going to darken when she dries. Is that going to be good? Right? Nice. Now, who's ready to do the next part? Thumbs up so I, so I don't go too fast because I can only see some of your paintings. Yeah? Ready? Okay. So, the next part is a little bit confusing. We do the little eyes first. Right? All these little eyes. Hi. Look like eyes. And, and you'll notice that she's a turquoise. It's white with the uh, blue on it with green around it with a little teardrop of black in the center. And on, on purpose, I just use a tiny bit of black and I literally make, I'm scribbling the black 
inside on top of the green, which will make a softer black. Because black by herself is like, it's not like a black hole. If we put it on the green a little bit, it'll be a softer black. So she's not like pure black, right? So we're gonna make the little um, the eyes first and they're just tear dropped. What if you make it bigger than that? Huh? What happens after we draw all the eyes? We go back and put these feathers in, right? So you're like, oh, oh, so if I accidentally make these humongous, I just, I'm going like this over past them anyway, around them, so don't worry, right? They're just ice cream, upside down ice cream cones, okay? So let's get our white, find white, white. Mmm. How much white did I give you, a lot? Somehow I gave myself a gigantic amount. I don't know. I don't think I have white. You don't have white? Nope. Anyone else have white? Because I have too much white. So I had a feeling this is from the wrong white. painting. White. Nobody has white? Okay, this is from the wrong painting. It was on my table. And I was like, why is there so much white? So I'm assuming by looking at this. So it's turquoise. Okay. So I'm gonna get the turquoise. So skip what I said. And let's let's do like like three of them up in the corner. And we just outline them. And can we just land right on top of the Sharpie this time? Yeah. We don't have to worry about that inside thing. We just want to like to get rid of the Sharpie. So I just poke the turquoise. And I'm just gonna say bye. And it's just like a whoosh. And I just get rid of Sharpie. Like that. A bye. Maybe three of them? I'm gonna drop my turquoise if I'm not careful. Cause mine is full. Okay, maybe th three of them? The three little ones, right? Just in the, just in the corner. Like a little practice baby ones. But look at, Now, with the turquoise on our paintbrush, can you find the open, let's go ahead and do that now. Open our green and our black. I'm mostly scared of black because once she's in your paintbrush, everything looks gray. So ooh, calm down, right? So I'm now I'm gonna get dirty paintbrush. Still with turquoise in my paintbrush, I'm gonna get a little poke of green. You know why? Because the green and the turquoise will make a new color on my paintbrush. So I just get a poke of green. <laughs> just that's the green. Oh, look at that. Poke. That's the poke. And then, can you just, uh, and they're made out of feathers, so they're not smooth. They're just kind of like a little, fill it in. A little, little, little green. Hey. Little, little, little green. Little, little green. Little green belly. And the outside edge is still turquoise. That's pretty. And then I have to lick off my paintbrush. No, I'm seeing who's looking. No, you don't. You weirdo sicko trying to eat the paint. I just fold it over and go pinch, right? And mostly all the green comes out. It looks like a little butterfly. Now, I need to put the little black eyes in there, right? How much black paint do you think it's gonna be for this teensy, tiny ish bit? Huh, okay, how do we get a spit? Maybe just even touch the side of the cup so we know it's just, because if I land down there, that's thick. Maybe I just touch the, and I just would like a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Where's the reflection? I can reflect it on my cheek. <laughs> and then just put a little scrub, little swirly baby, tiny little eyeball black. What? It's going to mix in the green, but at least it won't be too black. And I just go swirly, swirly eyeball, swirly, swirly eyeball. That looks funny. Now he looks like a, a cartoon character. There's still green showing. I just put it in this and just made a little swirly swirl and a swirly swirl. And look what a lighter black it is. And if I put pure black with nothing, it's just time set. I'm 
I'm looking at the original that's on the floor. So if you're wondering what I'm looking at, I'm like, oh. Okay, now let's do uh, two more, like this bigger one and a nice big one. Okay, turquoise, bleh. Ooh, upside down ice cream cone. Ooh, teardrop. I made it bigger. Is that bad? No, because when I go put the feathers on there, I totally go on top of, you know, I touch the edges of them, so. And I get a little bit more turquoise. How about this big one? This one's drawn terrible, but we know how it's done. It's turquoise on the outside and green in her belly. Right? So I outlined two more. I'm still using the itsy bitsy teensy tiny blue paintbrush. I haven't changed paintbrushes yet. Do you guys have the tiny little blue one? I feel like the big one would pick up a lot of paint. That's all. The, it, she's shaped right, the yellow one. But if you push hard on the yellow one, doesn't she get way bigger than the little blue one? That's all. It's his right shape. She'll just pick up way too much paint and she will go huge on you really easy. Now I'm going to get the green pook with my dirty turquoise paintbrush because it makes a new color. And then I fill it in. Woo! Oh, it made a turquoisey green belly. A little green belly in the, in the eye. And then, isn't that a pretty color? Because green by herself is a little harsh. But when she picks up the sides, the turquoise sides, you're like, mm-hmm, that looks good. And then what about uh, the eye? Black, right? So, how much black? Tiny, tiny little speck. So, but now I feel like I can touch the bottom. But I'm going to do it. Really, really soft and delicate. Because I don't want to pick up too much. Just a little bit of black. Calm down, black. Boop. And then, maybe I'll put it on the big one first. And right in the middle, I just, it's like a fingerprint big. Right? Look at my fingerprint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A fingerprint of black swirl. And then, I still have some black in my paintbrush. I could put it in this one. Isn't she softer? She's softer on the wet green than if she was pure black by herself. Right? Who wants to add more black? Do you think do you think it needs more? Because I don't know. I don't know how hard you went poke. Right? So I could go again. Poke. There's no way to t I'm gonna make it a little dark, maybe just a little bit more. Oh, okay, that's all and that's all you get there. Mer because how did you push hard with your paintbrush? Did you get just, you were literally getting a microscopic speck and it was just not enough black. So we make, we don't get mad. We make little adjustments, right? We're just like, oh, no, 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 no. Right. Now there's black on my paintbrush. No, paper towel. I want a new paper towel. This one's thrown. Get out of here. Okay, get a new one. Oop. Pinch. I was afraid I was going like, to put my paintbrush in the orange or something. See, I always look at the paint. I don't know why. That's coolio to me. I don't know. It looks like a monster. I love looking at the paper towel. Okay, so um, uh, now we could do, do you think we could do all these? So, well, the very first one's for rough draft, for your brain, for understanding. This was for clarity, right? And then we keep going. And what? How do we do them? We outline with nice, thick turquoise, fill the belly with greenish turquoise, and then give them an eyeball. So why did I draw these if we weren't going to end up using these circles? We're not using these circles just for, just for the picture. So when you got it, you would know what it was. <laughs> So now I get turquoise stab, and I just, you remember how, what if you already know how and you don't want my help anymore? Then you just go. You just, you just paint the, the eyes. So I outline them in a teardrop. Whoopee. Oh yeah, how many can I do at once? Don't do more than three at a time. How come? Your paint will dry. 
and then it won't make that pretty turquoise green. So at the most, three at a time, two at a time maybe, okay? And then when you go and get the black, there's never enough black for all of them. So I got this one. Oh, the, the turquoise, the silver is still showing. Goodbye, silver Sharpie. Bye. There, I got two. Okay. Now I'm going to get green. I'm going to keep talking because teachers can't help but keep talking. But if you would like to go on and ignore me, then you feel comfortable and you just go. Because how much learning is required? Teachers are only necessary until you can do it by yourself. And then you just go, right? Now I'm going to fill up the circle with the green. Swirly, swirly, swirl. Oh, I like it when the green and the turquoise mix. I don't know, but that looks good. Okay. And then a little bit of black. I'm going to put the black in the bed. Just a little fingerprint. What if we actually used our fingerprint? I don't know, but that sounds really fun. But maybe not. Because you know I'll want to play with it too much. So, better just use my paintbrush. So, I put it in the belly. Oh. Hey. I did. That one came out dark enough. But the second one didn't. I'm going to need more black for that one. So, they match. Hmm. That's okay. Do I get mad? No. I just adjust. I make an adjustment. Couple black swirl in there. Woo! A little eyeball. And I like the te Are you guys, guys still getting interesting texture? Right? Because it's made out of feathers. Nice. But now there's black on my paintbrush. Oh. Who's letting their turquoise and their green meet? And make something new right here on the edge. I really like the, the in the green. This little green turquoise moment where they touch looks really good. I, I you know, instead of, I'm going to be a little bit rough with it. Like scratchy, scratchy. So it has interesting texture. So it's not just shimmy, shimmy, right? I'm going to keep going. You guys going? Are we going to do the same thing on all of them? All of them. Turquoise, green belly, little black dot. Turquoise on the outside. I'll show you. Let me show you. Let me show you the original. Right? There's the little green centers. Little black dot. Are my little black dots all perfect? And perfectly round? No, they're interesting to look at. Right? So don't be like, oh my god, they're not perfectly round. It's made out of feathers. So I go poke. Outline it with turquoise, Reew. and then poke it with green, fill in their belly, swirly, swirly, swirly. I swirl it because I like the texture, and I like when turquoise and green mix a little. Right, and then I could do another one, turquoise on the outside, Reew. and then green in her belly. Oh, that wasn't enough green. Hmm, must be a really big eye. Okay. And then black. Black. Right in the middle, blacky swirl. That's, oh, not enough black. The black really only works for one, huh? I tried to do two, and it's just never enough. Put my paintbrush pitch. Who's beating me? What? Elizabeth's beating me. Who else is beating me? Marielle, you might be beating me. Stop it! No, go ahead. I'm kidding. Okay. I'm just saying. Getting close to the bottom, though. Out. Bye, Sharpie. Goodbye. And then I'm going to undo two at a time. Woo! Woo! Swirl. Woo. And then green in the belly. I was feeling really confident. Remember when we started and you were scared? Look at you go. Look at how much pain are you getting? The exact amount every time. How did you learn that that fast? Because you have a good human brain. And how do humans learn on, on earth? By doing. When the teacher shows you math, are you actually learning math? 
No. When does the actual learning happen? When you do it. Right? Watching is like, so. Then you do it and you go, oh, I get it. All her talking makes sense now. Okay, now I'm going to put my little black eye in there. Swirly, swirl. Swirly, swirl. Why am I, I, this time I'm doing them so smooth and round. Last time I was more raggedy about it. Hmm, curious. Oh, you're beating me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at you. Don't even need me. Nice. Okay, I have three left. We have Alonda with the question. Question. Am I faster the one that you're doing? You beat me? You're already at the bottom? You passed me? You're finished? Okay, then can you just rest and let us catch up with you then? Because then we do the feathers on the inside. You make me jealous. I'm still only doing two at a time because I get nervous. It's going to dry on me. And I like to swirl the turquoise and the green together and make a new color, which is awesome. I like it. Swirl and swirl. And then blick. <gasps> One left. Who's beating me? Mm -hmm. Isn't it interesting the peacock design as a bird? She opens up her feathers. She's just built like a turkey though. Turkeys are built the same way. And they put up their big fan, right? But it has eyes on it. Who designed that? Like to scare all the monsters away. All the foxes trying to eat her. Look at your beautiful eyes. Neat. Put the green in it. What else eats the anything that eats birds would eat a, a peacock if they could catch her, right? And all they have to do is is the girls don't have all this deck. This is a boy. The boys have all the decorations. The girls are brown, uh, so they can hide in the grass with their eggs. So uh, the, uh, if you had a big, long, giant tail, could all the, the, the um, cat only has to catch your tail, right? And then you can't get away. Alondra, do you have a question? Oh, yes, but I was waiting till the, um, the paint around it dried a little bit. And so that you could get better at your... Your paintbrush too. Who feels good about it? You guys are all staring at me. Are you guys ready to move on? You ready to do the feathers? So now we're gonna do these. But look at we have a little extra something something. So here's the trick about these, right? So we're gonna use yellow paintbrush. She's just bigger. And what's the only difference between her and the little blue one? How much paint she can hold. And when I smash her, how big she can get. Ooh. She can, I don't want to smash her really hard. She'll make humongous feathers. Does that make sense? So I'm still doing it soft, 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 just on the end, right? So she stays little, little, little. If I push hard, she'll, she'll open humongous, right? And like that is too big. I don't smash it, okay? And then everybody pause and look up. I know you're busy, but watch me. So I put some of the magenta right there. Oh, it's too much. But I would like some magenta to float on top, but this is what I do. Everybody watch, everybody look. I'm gonna say it more than once, but I just wanna tell you one time. So let's take that spot right there. Magenta in the belly. And then I go and kind of scratch on her outside to make the purple. So I drop it off 
right in the middle with turquoise. I go, you can live there. But I go and scratch at her sides a little bit to ruin the sides so they're not perfect. And it will mix with the blue and make purple. But I never touch the middle again. Or it will turn purple too. So giving the magenta permission to live means don't touch it. You could touch her sides, but don't touch the middle. It'll just turn tur purple. Does that make sense? We're going to do it together. So don't worry. We're going to do it together. Okay. So now we're going to go, oh, we have, I feel like I don't, oh, look how tiny this is in between those. I don't want to use my yellow paintbrush yet. I feel like only the tiny paintbrush can fit between those eyes. I'm going to switch back. Switch with me with the blue paintbrush. I think she'll fit in there better, but it's kind of little, little spaces. And then let's just go to like four fingers, go the first eye and we'll outline it, right? And then just go dash, 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 and fill it in right here. So I'm going to get, you know how, turquoise and blue on it. Right, so I get my turquoise book. Okay, I'm gonna hold it close to you. I don't, I wanna get rid of the Sharpie. Bye. Maybe to here, I just, I'm thinking the bottom of the first big eye, like that far down. And then I have to make it all turquoisey. So I go, all right then. Dash, 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 dash. And this time I don't care if black shows because I'm gonna use blue. Okay, everybody pause and look up. Look up. Look. Look, I didn't I didn't fill it in all the way. There's still black showing. You know why? Cuz blue's going to help me. So now I'm going to get blue and put my stripes of blue in there. Oh, oh, okay. Cuz there's still teardrops, right? Around that teardrop. Get the blue and go around that teardrop. Get the blue and go around the teardrop. Scratch, 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 scratch. scratch. Why am I scratching? Because I'm making feathers. They're teardrops. Scratch, 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 dash, 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 around the teardrops. I don't want to forget where they go at. Around the teardrops. There. And then I always look and I miss a spot. Holding it for the camera is totally different than when I put it up and I can see it. <laughs> okay, I missed the spot right there. There's no blue there. Dash, dash, there. What? There. Oh, look at I keep touching it. That, that spot right there, I touched it like five times trying to smooth it. And it now doesn't have good texture. Okay, I'm going to try to put some turquoise on it little bit and then clean my paintbrush and then put blue put the texture back let's see if I can do it okay way better but there's still what I still am outlining my my teardrop can you see your eyes did you go you ever, oh let me explain it better everybody pause and look up here's the eye right Pretend it's my face. I went dash, 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 dash. I like outline it, right? But go all the way to the edge. Bye, Sharpie. I don't want to look at the Sharpie. Bye, bye. No black. Fill it in with turquoise and, and, and blue little dashes. Now I feel like I could switch from the little paintbrush because we went around those itty bitty ones. They made me nervous. Now I can switch to the yellow one. How about if we do this? Let's try this. Everybody pause and look up. What if we got the blue and outlined, like do three more, three more down, right? And out, let's just outline these in blue to help our brain. Blue. But am I going to let the blue just sit there? No. I'm going to turquoise them. Just smear. What if it touches the turquoise? So, so, 
Just outline them. Little teardrops. Whoosh. Whoosh. Now watch, because we're using the big paintbrush. She holds way more paint. Now I'm going to poke the turquoise. Oh my gosh. It holds so much more paint. I just go whoosh down, just down to where the next three are. Bye, Sharpie. Whoosh, whoosh. So I went, I went to there. And just imagine like, like three more. Like that. And then fill it in with turquoise. Poke the turquoise. Dash. Oh, what if I hit the blue around the edge? So it'll be pretty. What? Oh, dash, 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 dash. And then what if black is still showing? I don't care, cause uh, blue's gonna help me. Blue's gonna. Help. It's not like when I did the body and it wasn't gonna get any other colors, right? Now I could go. Oh, okay. Dash. Oh, it mixed with the blue. So pretty. Dash, dash. There's still little onesies, huh? One, 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 one. Dash, 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 dash. Now I could put blue on it. Can't wait to see because how much blue is this big paintbrush going to pick up? Way more than the baby paintbrush. If you're so used to the baby paintbrush and you want to keep going with the little blue paintbrush, you just go ahead. If you love its texture, you just stay with it. That's called art. Anytime you make a choice, a decision for yourself, that's a little bit of art, right? So now I get the blue. <gasps> Can't wait to see what it does. Cause it, oh, dash, 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 dash. Oh, yes. Little stripes it's making. Dash, 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 dash. And I can touch the same world that I painted last time. I could touch it because it's the same colors. I could go all the way up in there. But we're not going to go past this, what we just did, because we want to add some magenta while it's still wet. So I know you know what to do. Just don't go faster, because I want to show you magenta. I'm just adding blue dash, 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 dash. Pick it up and drop it off and dash, dash, dash. It's for texture and color. Oh, I'm touching it too much. I'm making baby blue. I just, oh, calm down. If I get to go too fast. Or I push too hard in my paintbrush. I don't get those soft little dashes. I'm floating on top of the turquoise paint with my blue. And if I keep touching it, I get, I don't get, I just get one color. It's a little boring. Like I keep doing on the sides. This is, this is me telling me to stop it. Stop, stop doing that. Stop touching it so much. This is me telling my brain. So I went that far. Can everybody see how far I went? Because I would like to add some of the pink, right? So decorate. Oh, look at your puppy. I saw your puppy. Somebody flashed their puppy. Don't get me started on cuteness of dogs. I'll have to let my dogs in here. <laughs> okay. I cleaned my paintbrush. Okay, so I explained it one time. And everything I said made absolutely no sense because we because once you hear something, you don't learn it. When do you actually learn something? When you do it. So we're gonna get turquoise and we're gonna do it on her on her back, right here, like on the curve. But we want some turquoise to live. But look how she turns purple so fast. So stop touching it. There has to be because how many color values for 3D? Three. Dark, medium, light. So turquoise has to live. And turquoise purple, you know, that purple color is going to happen too. Oh, uh, Alejandra has a question. Go ahead and ask me a question. Oh, yeah. You're going to stay with the small paintbrush? Is that what you mean? Go ahead and ask me again because I think I missed it. Alondra, was that you asking a question about which brush? Yeah. Oh, we switched to the big paintbrush, but 
Some people I see are still using the blue paintbrush because it makes tiny little stripes. I'm, I'm so good with that if, if you're comfortable with the blue one. But I, I switched to the bigger one because she holds more paint. Who's ready for the pink? Her name's Magenta. She's purpley pink. So mixed with blue, what color is she going to become? You can see on my shirt. <gasps> Look at she becomes magenta. She becomes purple. Okay, so I go, what? Okay. I always makes me nervous. Oh, right. So I got my magenta open. And I'm going to just poke my paintbrush right in it. I'm just going to go. I'm not going to stab it hard. I just get some on the end. Poke. Some. Right? And where am I going to put it? What, right here. Right on her back. And I just took like a, a letter C. Hello. Just wipe it off and then don't touch it. Put it right on her back. Doesn't that look pretty? It hasn't even changed yet. So who touched theirs twice? Did it disappear? You bet it did. You just drop it off like it's a booger and you want it off your finger. Ew! Then it will just sit there. Right? Now watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I like the magenta in the middle, but I'm just gonna touch her edges and see if purple will happen. I'm scratching at her edges. Oh, okay, done. I mean, okay, let me evaluate. Okay, I can do a few more pokes. I so worry about just the whole thing becoming purple. I would like magenta to live. Okay, there, oh, it, oh okay, that's all. <sighs> See, I have some purple bits and magenta bits. But what happens if I scrub it together? Purple. So what if yours turned purple? Can you get another poke of magenta and float it on top in the middle? Just ding. Because how many color values is 3D? Three. Magenta, not mixed in. And magenta, blue, purple, right? So you're like, oh, I mixed mine in. It just became purple. Put a little extra magenta floating on top. See if you can't get magenta. Because we need magenta. We need magenta. Okay. Who wants to put another one? How about right down her belly? Not up here. Look at this is dry. Look, see, it's dry. Not her belly, it's dry. But along her tail right here, the front of her tail, we could put it here. Okay. So I'm going to get how much magenta? L a little bit? Just, just a little bit. So a little, little, little poke. Just a poke. I worry. I get too much. So I just go. Mm -hmm. I don't stab it forward like that. I'll get way too much. Okay, I'm going to run it across her belly. Just the tail part. Whee! And keep going till it literally runs out. <gasps> it's long. What if you want to get more? Because yours wasn't long enough. You could get more. Because I don't know how much of a poke you got. And what if you push hard and crush the magenta into the turquoise? It just turns purple. So like, oh, let me do it one more time and do it softer. I push too hard and just crush the paint together. So let me do it one more time. Okay, and then I, I feel like I like it next to her back, but maybe I could scratch this inside edge and make more feather out of it. So it's basically scratching the turquoise into the blue to make purple, and I'm just going to put it and just touch the edge of it. Scratch, scratch, and she just becomes purple by herself. It's none of your business. It just happens. Okay. Neat! Well, you know who's jealous? Some are in the middle. Look at some are in the middle. This is mad. She's like, why do the sides get turquoise? I get the magenta and not me. So we have to put a little something, something somewhere in the middle. But it should be smaller. Let's see. Can I show you? I am so magenta. But a ton of baby in the middle and a ton of baby in the middle. Ton of, ton of. Just to balance these two sides out, right? A speck and a speck. Okay. 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 So a poke, just a poke, a magenta, and maybe you can be here. That's all you get. And maybe here. That's all you get. That's it. That's all. There's two little places. You decide, right? Balance it out. And then that looks terrible. Just sitting there. 
Maybe I should scratch at them and make it a little feathery and some of it will turn purple, right? How soft do I push with my paintbrush? Very delicate, very delicate. Let's go scratchy, scratch, scratch. That's all. And then scratch, 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 scratch. Done! That dropped off a lot more paint than I thought. I think there was tur there was still magenta in my paintbrush. All right, for me, I have a lot. That's how mine turned out. I still had a bunch of magenta in my paintbrush. Okay, who wants to decorate more? Who loves it? Did you get purple? Did you get magenta e blue? Make a purple color. Is there some pure magenta just staring at you right now, going cha ching, right? And then some purpley. But it only worked when it was wet, right? But now we could do the bottom half, the bottom half, and then. But do you think? Do you think this will be faster? The bottom half. How come? Because we already done it. So our brains are like, yeah, lady, I know. Because how do you learn on earth? By doing. When I was talking about blending in that, that magenta, you were going, what? And now you're like, of course, that's how it's done. It's how it's always done. Duh. Right? Because now you know. Okay, now I'm going to get my, um, clean my paintbrush. Because I'm switching, I have magentas on there. And I would like to do the, the turquoise and the blue. So I give it a little pinch. Great. Okay. How about if we just trust ourselves and do all of it at once? Because bigger paintbrush, more paint goes faster. Let's outline our teardrops with blue or our eyes, I guess they're called. And I get my blue. And remember how we did it? And I just go, and I just get a huge amount, a glob. And then just go swirl, a glob, another swirl. Because it gets mixed in with the turquoise anyway. So the cars, right? So I just go around the outside. Whoosh. And then another one. Whoosh. And the more paint I get, it's really slippery. And it does a whole one by itself. So I just stab. I stab it. And then I go, whoosh. And then I get more and I go, and whoosh. I like where it's going to be thick right there. There's a blob of blue. Because I know it's going to mix with the turquoise. It's really pretty. Stab. Okay, I beat you. I was first. You're all jealous of me now. So there. How come? Because I'm smarter and better than you? Or because I've done it before? That's skill, right? I've done it before. It's not impressive. Nobody cares. My brain's like, yeah, I know. It's so easy for you because I've done it before. When you're learning, we go slow because our whole brain the whole time is going, what? What? And it's like, like, right? But my brain was like. Okay, now who knows what happens? Turquoise it. I put blue on it and then we outline our little uh our little eyes and then we go dash 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 and it will make that bluish turquoise color so i get my turquoise poke <gasps> can't wait dash 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 i like the texture but look at how much more paint it holds and how and I can't help but make a slightly bigger dash because I don't know bigger paintbrush I can't even try to be tiny cut like the tiny paintbrush like my brain won't let me Ooh, I just got some turquoise on my eye I'm gonna wipe it off my finger get off there oh I forgot to outline did you guys outline you're so smart I I didn't get rid of the Sharpie first. Bye, Sharpie. Bye. But look what happens to the edge anyway. We're going to make curls. They're just uh, sixes and Gs, little, little waves. We're going to make little waves that look like feathers escaping, right? So don't even worry about your edge. Nobody cares. 
So I go one, 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 one. Like dash, 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 needle, 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 needle. Oh, I like when turquoise and blue are mixing. My favorite part about painting, no matter what I paint, is watching new colors happen. Every time I'm like, <laughs> every time. It's the best part. One thing I still can't paint is um, uh, portraits, human pictures of humans, right? Portraits, because everybody's skin tone is so unique and different. I just can't do it. Every time I try it, I just get mad because it's that's truly when you're uh, you go to f uh, somebody famous who already knows how to do the portraits and already knows how to do those colors. They teach you, and I don't have a teacher. Because it's, it's definitely a unique skill. Uh-oh, my turquoise is drying. What do I better do? I better put some blue on it. I better put some blue on it. Right now. So I might get the blue poke. Start putting blue dashes on it. And can my can um can I go up here where I already was that uh, last time? Yeah, they're all attached. It's all the same color. Can't hurt nothing. And I can tell when I run out of blue, nothing happens. Like I'm going, ooh, those are really cool stripes, and then all of a sudden nothing. Oh, more pink. And then I guess it lasts like, let me count. That was only five stripes. It only lasted me five stripes. Poke. Who's getting really good at this texture thing? Like you don't even think about it anymore. You're just watching it happen. And you're just like, what? Look at this texture I'm making. And I... And I, I didn't even know I had this skill until I start doing it. And then you're like, man, I don't, look at me. Mm hmm. I can do this. I'm going back and touching mine because I have a big blob of blue right there. It's way too blue. So I'm touching it with my paintbrush to pick it up and go put it somewhere that doesn't have very much. Because I, I must have landed with a lot of blue right there. That was a lot. So I just touch it and my paintbrush will go and suck it back up. There. Who, did you guys beat me already? Because we have to put pink. I did. I did. Okay. So look at mine. So here's the original. Who's prettier? The one with the pink on it. Look at that. That one over there needs to be... Or, oh, I know it is. It's my, um, my beauty light is reflecting. It is blue. It looks blue from where I'm standing, but my beauty light is white and it's shining on that. So mine is blue. <laughs> but now, what? And look at that. Of, of magenta. But then I went and roughed around her edges. And then, boom! And then roughed around her edges. Ready? We already know how because we've done it. So, okay. So where should we put one? Let's just put one right down here. Like a big, oh, my paintbrush is filthy. Can't get magenta with that. I'm going to clean it. Pinch. Okay. I'm going to get my magenta. So everybody pause and look up. Right? Even if you're busy, just watch me do this because you can go back to what you're doing. But I'm going to stab my magenta because I would like it to be bold. Stab! Because it will pick up a globule. Right? right? And I'm just going to drop it off here. <laughs> I got some on my on my eye. I'm going to use my finger. Get off of there. Okay, I think it. I fixed it. I was wild. Did you see how wild I was? I just dropped it off. And now, I like it. But it looks like a straight line, and that does not remind me of feathers. 
That has the wrong texture. So I'm gonna dash dash her edges and hopefully purple appears. Dash, 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 scratch, scratch on her edges. Just kind of ruin her edges because she looks a little perfect. Okay, there, flip, 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 flip. Scratch her, her edges and the top, her top, her top is all is perfectly straight. Ruin that, okay, there. That is more magenta than I expected to put. But everyone should be different. I was very aggressive. I was a little bit wild. A little bit. You don't have to be as wild as me. I was showing off. I was showing off a little bit. Okay, now, now where else? It's not balanced. Like, if magenta weighed 10 pounds, this is, this is going to tip over. It's gonna t what? Magenta's too heavy, right? So, I need some on her tummy and in, in, in between there. Do you want to try to balance it, right? So I get some magenta poke and go, okay, to balance it, maybe closer down her belly, whoosh, right? To balance it a little bit. And then some soft little touches on the outside edge of it. So it becomes a little purpley, right? I just kind of pick it up and drop it off and pick, oh, oh, I'm putting way more magenta than I normally do. The guy must be showing off. Okay, and then, then um, closer to the bottom of her tail. For two. See how it looks more balanced already? This is like 20 pounds, so that would be 10 and 10 made it more balanced. Right? If, if color weighed, right? Well, I can't just leave that. Look, it's terrible. Let's scratch at it and make it rough. Okay. Now the middly parts. Oh, right. And look how cute this is with just a few specks. Just one or two specks in between. It's like a just a little bit. I'm be more careful this time. So I'm gonna go. I don't uh, right there, right there, right there, and right there. That's all. Just a little bit. Tiny bit. And then and then that looks silly. So. Maybe even switch to my, I know, I know. I'm going to get my tiny paintbrush. Where's my friend? Because she will help, she will help me do tinier scratches. Oh, that was better. Oh, look at that. Tinier. That big paintbrush was annoying me with how hard it pushes. Okay, there. Who loves? Who loves? I love. So how many color values for 3D? Three, dark, medium, light, right? So do I have dark areas, Blake? Do I have medium? Uh, turquoise and the greens are in the medium world. But then who's in the dark world? Magenta and dark blue. And the blue are in the dark, so it's balanced. So let's look at the color wheel real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely on. This side, right here, right? And who's directly across? Blue, orange. Now we need some swirls. Mine is cuter than yours because I have, and these are waves, right? So it just comes out and it goes whoosh, and then whoosh, whoosh. It's a wave, it's a wave. And then, oh, and how many kinds are there? Big, medium, Right? We want three kinds. So let's get the bit, the yellow paintbrush. But she's got magenta on her. <sighs> Give it a pinch. Pinch. Okay. Turquoise with blue on it. Right? So I get the turquoise and I go poke. I don't need very much. Right? So maybe, because this is what I imagine for action. Right? Action. So it comes around and I go... Like an S, so her face this way, and then it's almost like a splash. It splashes right here, so whoosh, whoosh, like that. So it's like a, a smile. So everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy, watch me do this. Ready, Sophia? So I touch her tail and I go, smash, smile. Wait, I could curl it even more. I'll do another one, smile, ooh. Those are two bigs. I, what other size do I need? A, a medium? Medium. 
and then itty bitty baby. Okay, now you try one. Maybe, maybe, maybe even more curly. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, she's what? That's a six or a G. And then, and then it's big, medium, small. So then I need a, a medium and a small. Big, big. Okay, that was too big. What am I doing? Okay. Big. Oh, question. Brian has a question. Please, I'm done already. <gasps> Did you do these swirls? Yeah. What? Okay, after my, then you're resting. Then after, tur so I don't have to perfect them when they're in turquoise. Because what am I about to add? A little bit of blue. Now I can perfect them and ride the wave like, whoosh, whoosh, and I'm trying to get streaks. Uh, ooh, I touched the magenta. Does that mean magenta might end up in there? Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, what? And then, and then little tiny baby curls on the, like down by the tail. Like whoosh, and then, um, oh, I don't like this right here. Everybody pause, like, <gasps> I landed the blue, and then I need to push that uphill a little bit. You see that blob? That's not, no. There. There. Okay, now she's attached. It was just sitting there like a circle. Up, up, there. Now how about the underneath? Uh, uh, smile and frowns. Frown, frown. But look at it. It's all ratty and I don't even care. How come? Because they're feathers. So I make my, to get my turquoise poke. I don't need very much paint. So let's see. And it has to be below the curve below the curve because of the way a splash would go it would go whoosh. so i would go whoosh. oh that's like a six and then, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then baby 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 medium small Woo -hoo. oops that's not right whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Boop. and then whoosh, whoosh. maybe they could swish backwards a little bit whoosh. and then that looks silly so I'm going to get a speck of blue and decorate them so that they match. Okay, okay. Hey, who got to pull on some magenta? You're lucky. Because I pull the magenta down into my fluff. My fluff. Who thinks they're cute? Are you cute right now? Okay, who, look at mine. <gasps> oh, I have splashes all over mine and I hate it, right? So at the end, after we do the eye, we could put black paint on that and it will look shiny, but it's not. It'll dry flat black like this, not shiny black, but it goes on shiny and black and you'll be all mad. Okay, but not yet. Teeny tiny paintbrush, we have to do her eye. So we get a, the tiny tiny paintbrush and I got a speck, a speck. So how do you make the eye? You're, we're gonna outline the eye like we did all of those other, um, what do you call them? Eyes? <laughs> and I go, I, it's a teardrop whoop, with a little black dot in the center. But we practiced this and we did our eyes down there. So she's she's one of these, but with no green. So raise your hand if you think this came out better than you thought it would. Remember when you saw it and you were like, there's no way. There's no way I could paint this. And now look at you. Who got to make new colors? Who has good texture? I know. Who, can you show me your paintings? Can you hold them up? Miss Martinez, do you know how to do a screen grab? Because I don't know how. Uh, well, I can make them, well, I don't know about that, but I can make them spotlight. I can <gasps> go back here right now. We'll make Brandon spotlight. Good oh, look at all your colors. Oh, what? Good. And it's going to dry, it's going to dry darker than this. This looks real shiny, but watch. It's going to darken and the colors get deeper and richer. Yes, 
anyone else that wants to share, I just pulled it up. I see Sophia's and Emma's and Louisa's. There, oh, so, oh, you're, uh, you're Ellie. Oh, Emma and Amia. Did I say it wrong? I could tell the face she made. I said it wrong. <laughs> you, <laughs> she said it wrong, of course. Amaya. Is that better? Okay. <laughs> I get hooked on phonics, you know. Okay. Oh, so cute. Look at, there's me, that's boring. Oh, who's that? Sophia, good job, you guys. <laughs>